Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kwam Yasha Allah. Koholo Yimla, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakra Dash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akhwaf. Let's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Jacques Hanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And I'm um, just going to touch on this quick little article. Cardi B says um, she continues to slam New York City budget cuts. Calls out Biden for funding two wars America can't afford. We don't got McDonald's money. <laughs> anyway, let's get into a little bit of the article. Anyway, yeah, let's just get into the article, man. Last week, Mayor Eric Adams announced a set of severe budget cuts across all New York City agencies. It's expected to slash a host of critical municipal services, including trash pickups, after-school programs, and cops, <laughs> according to the report. All right. It says, the news didn't sit well with New York native Cardi B, as she's been speaking on it ever since. What's going to happen to my nieces? What's going to happen to my nephews? What's going to happen to my cousins, my aunts, my friends that's living in the hood? Well, shit, you got all that bread? You in future? You know, go and swoop them. Set them up with you. Shit. Okay, it says, um, I'm from the Bronx. I don't, I don't want to see my shit affected. <laughs> Everybody be like New York is dirty. And it is dirty. The rapper continued. And we're going to get even dirtier with the the effing budget cuts. <laughs> hey, man. She went on to say crimes are going to go through the roof because there is a police safety budget cut. She said, referencing Adams, cancel, cancel, cancellation of several police academy classes. And on top of that, there's a, a sanitation fucking budget cut. <laughs> So that means we're going to be drowning in rats, the rapper added. The topic has clearly been stuck on Cardi B's mind as she's speaking on it again. But the time she's calling out all the but this time she's calling out all the BS and even President Joe Biden for funding two wars that America just can't afford. Well, I mean, hey, man. <laughs> hey. But the Lord said that he was going to place a, a, a base nation, you know. I mean, these people are base, man. They're really, um, I mean, they're, they're really fools, you know. They go to these colleges. They get these, you know, these um, letters in before their names, you know. And after their names, their PhDs and all these different things. And, you know, they're supposed to be the smartest people in the world. But these people are stupid as hell. Because your country is suffering. You have all manner of shit going on with your country. But yet and still, you got billions and billions and billions and billions of taxpayers' money that you're sending to other countries. And it's not like a one-time thing. This shit is ongoing. You're ongoing sending money away. There's no way that, that no city here in these Americas should have to cut no services, man. No services. Think about all that money, man. I, it, I mean, this place, it, it's in all kinds of debt. So, let me get this quick scripture real quick, because it's beautiful to me. See, we're not tripping on this. See, Cardi B, she, 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 you know, she, this is her, her stomping ground, so to speak. You know? Because if she really cared, like if she really truly cared, she wouldn't do the type of music that she does to affect our people the way that she's affected our people, man. She is really, <laughs> she a she is single-handedly turned our generation into hoes, straight up. But she'll speak out on shit like this right here. So really, in reality, it's, it's hypocritical. Nobody wants to hear that shit from her. <laughs> but anyway, you know, we can get edification out of it. So this is, um, we already in there. Ecclesiasticus, chapter 25, and verse 7. Also known as the book of Serachina. 1611 King James Bible it says there be nine things which I have judged in mine heart to be happy and the tenth I will utter with my tongue a man that hath joy of his children and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy 
See, she's not looking at this place like an enemy. She's not looking at the so-called white man as an enemy. She's set up, you know, she's been able to, you know, pretty much do well, but at the expense of our people. And you, you know, it, 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 I mean, it's just crazy, man. Does she even got anything to say? You see? <laughs> I mean, it, it really is. Here you go. You'll put out a song called Wet Ass Coochie. <laughs> It got a whole, I'm talking about not just here in the Americas, but women all over the world following in behind your ass, man. All types of adultery, all types of uh, uh, abortions that came out of your music. I mean, I can't even imagine, man, the type of, um, <laughs> the things that have come out of her being a damn performer, man. All manner of bullshit. Anyway, though, but we're living to see the fall of our enemy. And she can't see that. She can't grasp that. And a lot of these people be Christians. I think she might be. Uh, uh, she, I think she done spoke on God before. You know, she, you know. But see, I, I done the lesson. I think it was yesterday. Or maybe earlier or whatever. But, you know, going off into how Christians don't really want the Lord to come back. You know, that was earlier today. I was talking about that speaker of the house guy. Praying for the Lord to basically... Give America a chance. <laughs> no, this place got to go, man. This place got to be destroyed. It's too fucking wicked. And she should want it to be destroyed. But, you know, from a, from a carnal or worldly way of thinking, no, she wants this place to continue on. Like, for real, and that's the majority of our people. That's the majority of Christians. These Christians, they don't, they, they don't, they, they're not praying to the Lord, to who they think is the Lord. They're not praying to him. <laughs> They're talking about, Lord, go ahead and destroy this place. The only people that's 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 going off into that and praying that way are the are, are the uh, uh, the children of Israel, man. Uh, the, the brothers that's going out here on the highways and byways of GMS, basically, and you know the the, the brothers that's affiliates in that teacher like manner. We're the only ones that's out here chanting this place down, man. Chanting this place down. Because I'm willing to bet you she's probably going to sit down. She's going to have a, 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 a nice Thanksgiving dinner with her family. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? She don't give a shit about the atrocities of our people, man. She don't even know who she is. You see? But anyway, I mean, it is what it is, man. It says, what has Eric Adams said? It says in a statement released on November 16th, the major... The major said, for months, we have warned New Yorkers about the challenging fiscal situation of our city faces to balance, to balance the budget as the law requires. Every city agency dug into their own budget to find savings with minimal disruptions to services. And while we pulled it off this time, make no mistake, migrant costs are going up. See, this is what people going to really get pissed about. Migrant costs are going up. Tax revenue growth is slowing. And COVID stimulus funding is drying up. No city should be left to handle a national humanitarian crisis largely on its own. And without the significant and timely support we need from Washington, D.C., today's budget will be only the beginning. <laughs> so it's going to it's about to A. Hey, it's going to get rough in a lot of areas, man. But see this right here. It, 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 and Cardi B, she was making a point because it is going to turn some damn crime up. It's going to turn that crime up, man. This place is about to go into to full scale chaos, man. Full scale chaos. And New York already crazy as hell. <laughs> so just imagine, you know what I'm saying, with these 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 city cuts and stuff like that, man. It's already that place is already. I live there. That place is crazy as shit. And that's all American cities, though. We can't just um say New York. You know what I'm saying? Some of these cities are a little better than others, but overall, just as America, this is a horrible place. <laughs> this place is wicked to the core. But like I said, again, she's really being very, very hypocritical because she's not looking at her life. Examine. She needs to examine herself. Examine yourself. You have destroyed uh, uh, a lot of um little little young ladies, man. If she could only see the type of shit <laughs> that a lot of these young ladies are going through, following it behind her ass, 
trying to be like her, repeating those whack ass songs to go along with her, you know, her, her spouse, them too. You see what I'm saying? So what, what's the fuss about? Just, just go ahead and suck it up, <laughs> cause you got you got plenty of bread to move up out of New York. You don't even have to be there. You know what I'm saying? And if you feeling that way, set your family on up. You got some bread. <laughs> anyway, though, you already know the comments, man. Is even you know you know how the comments go. But I just wanted to just touch on this for a hot segment. I'm not gonna keep this long, but hey, we're we're cheering this shit on, man. Keep on praying for the downfall of America because these people are stupid as hell. How could you possibly be sending billions? How could you even be the trillions of dollars that they're in debt? This place is in debt. Trillions. I think about what is it? The shit is at like 40 trillion dollars. Or at least that's what they're saying. So they don't tell how much it really, really is. How could you be that far into debt, man? Who? The, uh, come on, bro. How? And then you're that far into debt, and yet and still, you got all this fucking aid to send to these other countries. You won't mind your own business. Well, how's about getting your own house together, man? That's not using wisdom. This is how we know that this man, he has to fucking go. And then a lot of it is being orchestrated to it at the same time. We understand that. You know what I'm saying? We're not ignorant to Satan's devices, you know? And matter of fact, let me, since we in the apocrypha, just that, uh... Get that second address. 15. It started about 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up to fight against another. And swords in their hands. This is all coming to pass, man. Soon. For there shall be sedition among men. And invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. These people don't have no respect for their government officials already. They don't have no respect for no damn police officers, no mayor, no senator, no governor, <laughs> no president. These people, and it's going to come to a point where it's going to get so bad that even the police are, are, are going to um, abandon post, man. Verse 17 it says, A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. So it's going to be blockades, but it's going to be people that's going to want to go places that ain't that don't have blockades. And they're not going to fucking go there because they're going to know that it's crazy as hell. And you women and you Cardi B's, <laughs> it's going to get real terrible out here for you women, man. That's on a dolo. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. Verse 18, it says for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. So if the men are going to be afraid, you best believe the women going to be terrified. Go along with them badass kids they got. All right. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. See, she's fussing about a couple of police cuts. It's going to come a point where there's gonna, not going to be any police officers at all. And all that little stardom that she has, that shit going to be out the window. All that stardom that they, see these people that our people look up to, your Jay Z's, your Beyonce's, your you know your, your you know that that idol that these people look up to, there's gonna come a point in time where they're gonna be looked at like a regular motherfucker, <laughs> because people are not gonna have time to idolize you no more. It's gonna get it's gonna get rough, man. So I'm gonna end out there, man. I you know, I didn't want to keep it long. I just seen this. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, man, this 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 this, this chick got to be out her damn mind. Here you go, you you trying to voice your opinion on something like this, but yet and still, you are a destroyer of your own people, man, with that whack ass music, bro. But hey, with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Call me on shoulder.